Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Negative. The dry plate process uses light sensitive silver coated onto glass plates. The process was used to make both negatives and positive transparencies, which were known as lantern slides. Richard Leach Maddox was the first to successfully make a dry plate in 1871. Over time, the process underwent many improvements before it was commercially viable in 1879. Later, the plates were made to be more light sensitive and able to record a much wider color spectrum. During exposure, a latent image was formed, which was then developed, fixed, and washed in a dark room or darkened space. Dry plates, which didn't need to be developed right away, eliminated the need for a portable dark room. Initially, gelatin emulsions were only sensitive to blue light. In 1882, the first orthochromatic plates were available. In 1912, sheet film was introduced and by the late 20s or early 30s, sheet film replaced glass plates. Dry plates are still used today. I really like dry plates a lot. I think what sets these apart is the extremely high detail and resolution. And they also have a really unique look, which is partially from their hand-coated nature and also their light-sensitive color spectrum, which is usually orthochromatic. That was a very brief history on gelatin dry plates. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're interested in seeing more content like that, please hit the subscribe button. I think in the future, I'd like to focus a little bit more on photographic history. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Negative. It doesn't matter where you are, it's who you are. And that's not gonna change whether you're in California or Maine or New Mexico. You know, you can't escape you.